Hi, I'm Rich Madden, and I'm a fish biologist for Portland General Electric. I work at Pelton Round Butte, which is a hydropower project in Central Oregon on the Deschutes River. It's operated by PGE and the Confederated Tribes of Warm Springs. Right now, I'm standing on top of Round Butte Dam, and down below you can see Round Butte Hatchery and the Lower Deschutes River. To the other side of me is Lake Billy Chinook, and in the distance you can see the Selective Water Withdrawal Tower. We also call it the SWW. The SWW is a fish passage facility that was built in 2010. By building this facility, we're able to collect fish and move them around the dam so they can safely make it to the ocean. Building this facility means that fish from way upstream can swim all the way to the ocean and back again as adults. Before we built this facility, they weren't able to do that for over 50 years. Part of the life history of salmon and steelhead is they want to go to the ocean to grow up and be big. So they need to follow the water currents down to the ocean. So with the SWW, the water moves through the top structure and the fish follow the currents. Once the fish initially come into the SWW, the fish are transferred through this pipe over to our holding area. The pipe contains a pit tag detector. A pit tag is a microchip that we can implant into the fish to track the fish on its journey to the ocean and eventually back to the SWW. The fish need to be separated by size. These separation bars allow us to separate the fish without actually touching the fish. The smaller fish will actually fall through the bars and the larger fish cannot fit through the bars so they go to a different area. The small size fish are mostly sockeye salmon, chinook salmon, and summer steelhead. And these are the fish that we transfer to the lower river to continue the journey out to the ocean. Fish are collected here, usually overnight. Biologists like me and other fishery staff come in early in the morning to see what fish have come through. This piece of metal equipment is called a crowder. We lower it and move it in one direction to force the fish into a smaller area. Once we've crowded fish into the metal basket called a hopper, we raise the hopper up, connect it to the pipeline, and open a gate so fish can swim through the pipe and into our sorting building. Our sorting building has the ability to safely handle from 100,000 to almost 750,000 fish on an annual basis. When the fish come into the sorting building, they are held in this sorting trough. We can use a small amount of anesthesia to calm the fish down so we can count and sort them. Some fish will continue on their journey to the ocean and some will be released back into the lake. Some fish even will be given a microchip so we can follow them for their entire life cycle. All the fish are given time to recover after being handled. They are transferred to these tanks and then once they are recovered, they are loaded on a truck and transported approximately 10 miles downstream around three dams. After resting, fish are crowded in this tank and are lifted with a big crane and set on top of a fish transport truck. A valve is moved and the fish gently get transferred into the fish truck. The fish truck is like a big aquarium. It has fresh water so the fish can be safe as they get a free ride to the lower river. Once at the lower release site, fish are flushed out of the truck through this pipe. The fish are released right before nighttime. This helps the fish avoid other animals that might want to eat them. Today you've seen how fish that want to go to the ocean get past our dam. Thanks for joining me on this virtual tour. We love sharing our work and we hope you've learned something.